guys, I really want to talk to you about something. This is why I do what I do. You see, most people think that I just, you know, do intermittent fasting because of a diet. Because I wanted to get lean, look slim, look better. But it's much more than that. <clears throat> this is why I do what I do. This is what wakes me up in the morning. This is what gets me out of bed. This is who I am as a person. You see, human being has a natural instinct. When we were, you know, ancient pre-modern warriors, or even, you know, pre-modern hunters, what we would do is we would go out in the day, we would hunt, we would gather our food, then at night we would have a big feast, right? We were focused during the day, we were energetic, we were motivated, we were hungry. You know, not just hungry for food, but hungry for something more than food. And so, you know, Ori Hoffmuckler talks about it in his book, The Warrior Diet, and I think it's just so elegant, so poetic. He speaks about the falcon, the beautiful creature, the bird, the falcon. And the way that the trainers train the falcon is that they give the falcon a small, the tiniest amount of, of red meat, just enough so that I can be reminded of the taste of meat, but not enough that it would satisfy it, satisfy its hunger. And so this would be just enough to increase and encourage its natural instincts, its natural desire to be the best, to hunt and to gather its food, to live its life to the fullest, to, to be satisfied, to get what its body is craving for. Oreo Hoffmuckler also talks about the lion, the beautiful, beautiful creature, the lion. And it's just one of the most poetic, most amazing, most, you know, things I've ever read, ever. And this is what sold me on intermittent fasting, you know. I, had st I may have started it just for, you know, attaining certain goals with my physique, with my fitness, with my lifestyle. But this is what told to me that intermittent fasting is for life. Intermittent fasting will become who I am. We mold it into the very fabrics of what I do, of, of who I've become, of this person that you're seeing in front of you. You see, the lion is the king of the jungle. And when it is hungry, it is at that point that it's at its most dangerous. And its instincts are sharp. They're clear, they're concise. It's as aggressive as he is patient. And he goes for what he wants, what he so badly desires, its prey. You see, the reason why it's so dangerous during the day is because a lion is hungry and all the other beasts in the animal kingdom know that if the king is if the king is hungry if the king wants something then the kingdom won't rest until the king has what he wants and so it is at the point where he patiently you know hunts for his prey and when he finally catches that gazelle when he finally gets his goal it is for that brief moment when it's satisfied, when its belly is full. Not overstuffed, but just to the point of satiety. Just to the point where he's satisfied. That for that brief moment, the animal kingdom is at peace. And so all the little animals, all the little birds, the insects, the ants, the gazelles, everything. They can rest for just a brief moment, just for the night until it wakes up again in the morning and it's hungry and it's ready for more. But when you took that same lion and you brought him into the cage as they do in zoos, 
right? He's put in a cage and he's where he's fed all the time. Binge eating. To the point of sickness. He's overfed, but he's still not satisfied. It's not enough for him to survive. It's not it's not enough, it's just not satisfying him. He just has no will. I mean if he can't hunt, then what's the point of even living? Right? And so it's there where the lion sits depressed, bored, hungry, and, you know, instincts are gone. It's no longer sharp, but it's fat. And it's dull. And it feels like a prisoner within a cage. In fact, it is within the cage of the zoo. You see, the reason why I say that this is so poetic is because we are that caged lion. It is us living in this modern society. Modern modernity has so conditioned us to be creatures within a cage. You know, where our instincts are dull, right? Where we you know, we have no sharpness to the way that we're acting, to the way that we're going about in, in our daily lives. And so we're depressed, we're overfed, we're fat, right? We're tired, we're sleepy, drowsy, right? We're just thinking, we're counting down the minutes till it's five so that we can go home. And so we have no desire to live anymore. We have no passion. We don't have that predatory instinct that that, 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 that thing that puts us in a position to chase after what we so badly crave, what we so badly want in, in life. And this is why I do the thing that I do. This is why I do intermittent fasting. Because it's beyond just a simple fitness hack. It's the very reason that we as human beings are living on this earth. Because don't we want to be the best, right? Do we not want to be the best? Do we, do we not want what we consider is ours? Do we not, don't, don't we have this competitive drive? Because, you know, modern society has, you know, caged us so that this competitive drive is no more. But we still see remnants of it in sports, right? Boxing, soccer, this aggression, right? And when I say predatory instinct, I'm not saying that we should be going out and killing anybody. Nothing of that sort. It's about the the unstoppable, you know, focus, the you know, the blinders on towards our goal, towards what we think, towards our definition of success. And that is is what sharp instincts are all about. And I think that's that's that that to me is the single best, biggest, and most amazing benefit of intermittent fasting. It's because it, it puts us in tune with our predatory instincts, this desire to just go after what is ours, to really get what we think that we deserve, right? So that's, that's really all I wanted to tell you guys, you know? I really want to do this to help you, to to help you guys tap into that predatory instinct, right? So that when whether it's your schoolwork, whether it's your career, your business, you know, the sport that you're playing, whatever you're extremely passionate about, that you go there with just a dogged minded blinder blinders on you and that you just, you know, completely get lost in the achievement of that goal. Right? That's why I love intermittent fasting so much. So, you know, I hope this, uh, you know, resonated with you. I hope, you know, I'm sure I know that everybody has that one thing, something that they, you know, so, you know, there's a burning fire within them, something that they really want, right? And so, um, you know, let me know down in the comments what that thing is, right? And um, I want to show you how you can use intermittent fasting to find, you know, this burning fire to, to you know, to sharpen up your instincts. Um, so, yeah, let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
and uh, if you have any suggestions for what you want to see next, let me know and uh, I'll help you out. Okay, okay guys, Zipper Shizzle, and I'm out.